From our northern Colorado newsroom now, authorities in Larimer County are using a new state law to crack down on fentanyl dealers. Dylan Thomas covers northern Colorado for all of us, and he spoke to the sheriff's office about how they hope that harsher penalties for dealers could in turn save lives. By now, most people have heard about the dangers of fentanyl to the point where some who continue to intentionally buy illegal drugs may be trying to avoid it. But what they may not realize is some of the other pills that they're buying could still contain fentanyl. Drug use is not a victimless crime. And that was made clear in November of last year in this upper class golfing community in far southeastern Fort Collins when a child found his mother unresponsive in their home and called 911. You go to the scene, there's no signs of forced entry, no doors kicked in, nothing's pried open, there's no bleeding, there's no signs of weapons, no signs of a struggle. So that immediately leads us to believe that it's no foul play. On the counter, pills were spread out, deemed to be illegal narcotics laced with fentanyl. And so began the journey of finding where they came from. It's amazing nowadays because everybody leaves a trail. And typically it's an electronic trail. So it's just a lot of old fashioned gumshoe investigative work paired with new technology. The Larimer County Sheriff's Office was led to Evans near Greeley, where they arrested Rodolfo Rudy Dominguez, charging him with a relatively new offense titled unlawful distribution of fentanyl resulting in death. It sends a message that there is a, a responsibility if you are distributing drugs, there are significant outcomes for your actions. Investigators believe the victim purchased the pills under the impression they were oxycodone, but the counterfeit pills were actually fentanyl. Sheriff John Fayen says this tragic case should send a message to both drug dealers and users. You don't always know what you're buying. And so you have to understand that one dose of what you think is drug A may be drug B, and that may be the only time you need to take it that will cause your death as well. Dominguez is currently being held here in the Larimer County Jail on a $750,000 bond facing three felony charges. His first court appearance is scheduled for next week. In Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.